Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy to be here in Singapore. And uh, in my topic, I will talk about something uh, about uh, NVIDIA's Tegra Pro platform. Uh, let me introduce myself. I'm a member of the Trend Micro Zero Day Discovery team. I got rank one of Google Android VIP last year. And I also discovered some zero day attacks in the world in 2015. My research interests are Android, Flash Player, OS X, and uh, iOS. Uh, Tegra is a system ownership series uh, developed by NVIDIA for mobile device. Uh, NVIDIA announced that Tegra platforms are the world's fastest mobile processors. There are many smart devices uh, using Tegra platform, like uh, Google Nexus 9, Google Pixel C, and the Chromebooks. Uh, there are also many car brands using Tegra platform, like Tesla, Rolls Royce, Bentley, and BMW. So Tegra platform's security quality has a widely impact on our daily lives. Uh, funding and uh, patching Tegra's vulnerability is the worst to do. Uh, I, I only had uh, one Nexus 9 in my hand when I began to do research on Tegra platform. Uh, Google Nexus 9 uh, is released, uh, was released on November 2014. It is a tablet co-developed by HTC and uh, Google. Uh, Nexus 9 is using Tegra K1 platform. I found some uh, kernel mode bugs uh, of it and uh, wrote exploits for these bugs. So I will introduce some of these bugs and uh, one interesting exploit. Uh, I found these bugs by code audit. Uh, you can download and build kernel of Nexus device. Uh, Google has a very good uh, guide for. You can add your uh, debug information into the kernel source and build your own debug kernel image. Uh, personally, I like to use source site as a code audit tool. Usually, you can audit the code from uh, attack surface to the kernel. There are some uh, typical attack surface, such as uh, device nodes and uh, sysfs, procfs, and the system calls. When you find the suspicious bugs, uh, you can construct a, a POC and use your own debug kernel image to debug the POC. Uh, you can get the kernel panic information on the, uh, this folder, data system job box. Uh, there are some uh, bug examples uh, I found. Uh, the first one, it's in uh, driver and we host control when handling one IO control command. Uh, we can see that uh, this driver can be accessed by any user. And uh, in the source code, uh, th there is an integral flow when k malloc a buffer. Uh, the number of sets and the block size uh, are input in, uh, from user, user space. The, multi the multiplication can cause uh, the integral flow. And the integral flow will cause, will cause k-malloc to allocate a smaller buffer uh, than we want. This is the uh, second example. Uh, it is uh, in driver and we host the GPU when handling one IO control command. This driver also can be uh, accessed by, by any user. Uh, you can see uh, in the code, the argues offset uh, the code doesn't check the argues offset. So if, if we uh, input a, a data value 
the, the member set will uh, write uh, 16 bytes zero to an unknown address. But if uh, we can uh, leak the VA, the, the value of VA, we can write 16 bytes zero to a to an uh, to an controlled uh, uh, kernel address. Uh, this bug is in the uh, camera driver. Camera driver can be accessed in the media server process. It it need a, a privilege, a media or camera. <coughs> This bug is a risk condition bug. Uh, you can see the source. Uh, when handling one IO control command, the mutex, the scope of the mutex is not very good. The lock uh, doesn't protect the camera remote device. So it can cause uh, user up to free. Uh, allow me to do some advertisement for Google. Google uh, studied the uh, uh, Android uh, vulnerability reward program at uh, uh, June 2015. It now rewards 64-bit uh, Nexus device, uh, rewards bugs of 64-bit Nexus device. Uh, taking uh, the three bugs above, for example, you can get uh, 40, 40,000 US dollars if you are the first reporter and uh, submit three root exploits. Okay, uh, now uh, I will try to uh, exploit the first bug, uh, the integ overflow bug. So what we, we get after first glance, the, the vulnerable function is to read and write a module register. And uh, each time you, you read and write the register, you can specify one offset and uh, byte count to operate. The, the argues block size uh, is, is the byte count to operate. It should not be a, a very big value uh, to avoid the crash. But, uh, if you want to uh, overflow the, the multipl multiplication, the number of sets must, must be a very big value. So let's check the, the code deeply. Uh, when the argues right, uh, it's true, because we know argues is, is controlled it can, can be controlled by us uh, in user space. So we can set argues to true. The, the, the execution, uh, this, this means uh, uh, it will write to a register. So the ex execution flow is like this. Uh, key malloc a, a buffer and uh, copy from user uh, to fill the buffer. Then enter into a while loop. Uh, each time a reader and offset from user space by calling get user reader offset and then call the MA host write module regs to write the buffer content to the register. Uh, when, when writing, you can, uh, you can uh, specify an offset of a readout from user base and the re remaining, remaining is uh, is the block size. So, so the block size is the count. So uh, we can set uh, block size to four, Me means each time write four bytes to register. Uh, this, uh, so number of sets should be a normal value because uh, uh, we don't want uh, an, an integral overflow when we write to register. Uh, this is the function read to uh, register. The, the execution flow uh, is this. Uh, the first uh, validate, validate reg to validate the input offset and the byte count to write. Uh, if the offset and the count 
uh, is very uh, are valid. Uh, then write the values uh, to the re register. The values is from the uh, key malloc buffer. Uh, when the argues write is false, uh, they they the another branch else else branch. <coughs> The executing flow is similar with argues right is true. In the while loop, uh, we get an offset from user space by calling get user, and then and then call and we host read module register to read from register, and then write the values to the k malloc buffer. So in this branch, we have we have a chance to overwrite the k-malloc buffer. So we can set uh, the block size block size to four, means each time uh, read four bytes from register and write them to k-malloc buffer. Uh, uh, this time, a number of offsets should be a very big value because we want uh, to make. Uh, integral flow. Uh, when integral flow, k malloc will allocate a smaller buffer uh, to be overwritten. So if 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 number of sets is a very big big value, uh, the while loop in the code will be a huge loop, almost infinite. You can see while offset. So if number of sets is a very big value, the while loop is uh, is almost infinite. This is the uh, read from function of read, read from register, and we host read module regis. You can see the, the executing flow is, is similar with the, the write. Uh, validate the register, uh, validate the offset and the count first. If the offset and the count are valid, then uh, read from the register and write to the buffer. So uh, we must uh, solve the infinite loop problem if we want to overwrite the k malloc buffer. Uh, we can uh, take a look at the uh, validate reg function. Uh, in the validate reg function, it, it will uh, check uh, the offset and the count are bigger than resource size or not. And it will also check if the offset and the count uh, will cause integral flow or not. So uh, if we set the offset, it set the offset to a very big value, it will cause the, the check fail and it will return error. When, when where did rec return error, we can see that uh, read module regis will return error. And the while loop, the MV host read module regis return error and, and free the k malloc buffer and read error. The while loop, we break the while loop. So after we overwrite the k malloc buffer, we can set one, var one big value to the offset and it will get a user, uh, get the Big offset from user space, and pass in pass pass the offset to uh, and we host the read mo module regs and then break the while loop. So this method will uh, solve the infinite loop problem. Uh, so now, uh, uh, shortly su summarize what we have. Uh, we have an, an integral flow back. Uh, this uh, integral of bar can can change to heap buff overwrite, and the heap buff size uh, we can control the uh, heap buff size because we can control the uh, block size multiply the number of sets. Uh, we we also can control the heap buff overwrite length because we can control the uh, uh, offset. You can see we set a block size to four. And each time overwrite four bytes and set a big offset to break, so we can we can control the uh, uh, overwrite length. Uh, 
the, the ORAT content, we may have a chance to control because we can write values to the register first and read out from it. But we need to do, a, uh, do an uh, ex experiment. So I uh, do this. I write many magic number to register and read them out and to do this operation several times. And what I found uh, is, what I found are like this, uh, the memory out, the memory layout read out from register is, is the same each time. Uh, value in some fixed offsets is always zero. Uh, value in some in other fixed offsets is always the magic number we write to. And value in other offsets is some random value. The memory layout is like this. We write a magic number to, to the register uh, and then read out. We found in some offsets, it's always the magic number we write. And in some offsets, it's always zero. And other offsets is some random value. <clears throat> so now what do we have? Uh, we have a heap buffer over right back. Heap buffer size we can control. We can control heap buffer over right length. We also can control the over right length overwrite content. Uh, we can overwrite a four bytes zero or four bytes uh, the magic number. We can specify uh, the magic number. So what's the next? Uh, overwrite, what, what object we should uh, to overwrite? Uh, there are uh, three choice. Uh, the first uh, choice is a function pointer. We can overwrite a function pointer to, uh, for example, uh, a user space function pointer. And uh, if, if, we, if on, uh, if on uh, 32 bit Nexus device, this is okay because on uh, 32 bit device, uh, SMEP or PXN is not enabled. But, uh, Google Next 9 is a uh, 64-bit device. The SMEP is enabled, so this is not a, a good choice. The second choice uh, is uh, overwrite an object point. Uh, this, this object contain a function point. Uh, uh, this choice uh, is good because because SMAP is not enabled on, on even 64-bit Nexus device. But this choice uh, need ROP to, uh, to root. Because you can't uh, uh, directly read or write the kernel memory. You need, uh, an, you need ROP to uh, to do the read and the write. Uh, the, the, the last choice is the uh, struct th thread info. Uh, this is the best one because we know uh, there is the address limit field in the struct thread info. If the address limit is a very big value, means that user space can access kernel memory. If we overwrite uh, the address limit uh, to minus one, uh, the user space uh, thread can uh, read and write uh, arbitrary kernel memory directly. Uh, this is the best one because, because this choice uh, doesn't need uh, any ROP. So, uh, how to overwrite uh, the struct thread info? Uh, this is the uh, definition of the uh, struct thread info. Uh, what we have? What what we have is what we have now. Uh, we can uh, control the overwrite length. So, 
we can only overwrite uh, 16 bytes. And we can control the overwrite content. Uh, each time four bytes, uh, the four bytes should be zero or other uh, specified uh, number. So we can overwrite the flex field to, to zero and overwrite the address limit to minus one. We can achieve this uh, by, the, uh, by our bug. Uh, so if, if, if I want to overwrite the thread info, uh, I, I want this kind of memory layout. I want the key malloc buffer uh, just in, in, front of, in front of a struct thread info. And then we just over, overwrite uh, 16 bytes to corrupt the next struct info, struct uh, thread info. So uh, this is my, my plan. Uh, First, I create uh, many threads. Uh, it, uh, it will spray many struct thread info on the heap, on the kernel heap. And I, after uh, threads cre created, I begin to free some of these threads. Uh, at the same time, I I, uh, another thread, another thread trigger the bug to key malloc buffer and over, overwrite 16 bytes out of the buffer. Uh, first, first eight bytes set to zero, and the second byte, sec, second eight bytes set to minus minus one. The key malloc buffer will occupy the freed memory of one struct thread info. After uh, doing this, uh, each each life thread, this uh, each life thread uh, check if it can read the kernel memory directly from user space by uh, by uh, by a trick. Uh, we use a pipe to test. We we read from pipe. If if one thread can read kernel pem can read kernel memory direct, directly in user space, user space means that we f we find the corrupted uh, thread info belongs to this thread. This is the uh, memory layout changing. Firstly, I spray uh, many struct thread info on the heap by creating uh, many threads. And then I begin to uh, uh, exist, uh, exist uh, many threads. This will cause uh, some of, some, some struct thread info uh, being free. At the same time, uh, I check the bug to came malloc uh, 60, 16K buffer to occupy one free struct info and then overwrite 16 bytes to the next uh, struct thread info. Uh, how can I uh, assure the occupy success? Uh, firstly, I uh, spray big number uh, of a thread info. So, uh, thread info which, uh, which are located lately, very lately will be continu continuous because, because it, uh, it occupies the, uh, the, uh, occupy all the, uh, all, all, almost uh, all the uh, heap memory. So the uh, struct info located lately will be continu continuous. Uh, I, I only f uh, free few of them, and the free the thread, thread, thread info are allocated lately. And I, I don't uh, free continuous thread info. Only one out of six 
continuous thread will be freed. Uh, we can check the pseudocode. This is the pseudocode uh, uh, I spray the thread info. You can see I use pthread create to create many uh, threads. And I save the uh, TID of each uh, thread in, a t in the TID array. After this, uh, th this thread created, uh, I notify each thread to check it, it needed uh, a free itself or not. So uh, we can see uh, this is the uh, spray thread, each thread. Each thread will check the TID by comparing uh, the TID array received. And, uh, and um, we can see that the code check the index of the thread is bigger than the uh, threshold or not. And uh, only uh, one out of uh, six uh, will be, be freed. If the thread uh, still still alive after after uh, the first signal, it will receive the second signal from main thread, main thread to check if if it can read kernel address uh, directly by using read pipe. Uh, if read kernel memory is successful. Uh, then we get the corrupted uh, thread, which you can uh, read and write uh, kernel memory. So, if the, if if the read kernel success, we got the thread, and we can do read and write memory in this thread. So finally. Uh, we get the thread which can read and write kernel memory. Uh, we can we can get the address of init task and uh, se Linux enforcing uh, by analyzing the kernel image because there is an, uh, no KASLR on next the device. Uh, we we search I, I search from uh, init task because every 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 task every every task is link, linked into the init task. So I search from in, init task init task to get the current task by reading kernel memory from user space. After after finding the Current task, we can change the creed of of current task. Current task. Uh, before doing this, we need to disable the SE Unix enforcing. So after after doing this, uh, uh, we we wrote the uh, Google Nexus Nine. So, what about Tesla? I, I don't have a, a Tesla to test, but I know that Tesla is using uh, Tegra 3 platform when, when I was uh, br browsing some search result of Tegra pl platform. Uh, it is something like Ubuntu plus Tegra 3. So I thought about that. Can I find some uh, Tegra, Tegra box without a car? Uh, so I uh, searched Tegra 3 platform and found that uh, Nexus 7 is based on Tegra 3, Tegra 3 also. So I uh, downloaded the, the kernel source code of Nexus 7 and uh, audited the code, construct POC and uh, test on Nexus 7. Then I report 
I reported the bug, this box to test and got some rewards. Uh, is it, this is easy, okay. Uh, uh, there is the demo. Sorry. I need some help. Oh, I, I have. Check this. This is the demo. Yes. Uh, because uh, uh, it is uh, with some time to spread uh, many many threads. Uh, Root successful. Okay. And I would like to thank my colleague Hayden. Head and Xiao, and wish you, wish you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for coming to my presentation. <laughs>